We are celebrating Women's History Month with an empowering new book by our very own Lindsay Davis. That's why we're chatting a bit off the top. Girls of the World uh, is out and available now. And joining us uh, are some special guests from the Holy Rosary Elementary School in the Bronx, and they are all dressed as what they want to be when they grow up. Welcome, girls. It's Hi. great to have you with us. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so and let's bring in Lindsay here. Uh, Lindsay, we brought you in on, I think this is your one day off of the week. We got yes. you up and early <laughs> on Saturday. But I cannot get right? away. <laughs> exactly. Okay, your sixth children's book. Congratulations, Thank by you. the way. Well, what is the message you want people to take away from this one? I want little girls in particular to be inspired. That's my goal, at least. Not only about who they are, but what they are capable of. I want girls to realize just how bold, how courageous, how strong, how ambitious they can be. And you know, quite often when those little girls grow up and become women, we can hear that you're too ambitious when you're a woman, right? There are often different standards for men and for women. Boys will be boys, but you throw like a girl. They're quite often the annotations, the, the, the idea of being a girl, there are negative associations with that. And I'm trying to kind of spin that on its head. And we love that, Lindsay. <laughs> so even though this book is about girls, it was actually actually inspired by your son, who unbelievably, he's going to be 10 this year, this month. This month, I yeah. can't believe it. They go, they grow so fast. Everybody always says that, yep. but it really is so true, especially when you're experiencing it uh, firsthand. So my son was actually saying I should do one about boys, and I was like, this is your every day. Boys get affirmed all the time by the world around them, and so I feel like even we're talking about Super Tuesday coming up, and we think about the fact in this country's 235-year history, we still haven't had a female president. We're way behind other countries with regard to that who've already had uh, women as prime ministers and, and presidents. Only 10% of the CEOs of Fortune 500 companies are women. And so why is that? I mean, obviously, we are just as capable and able, but I think it's about planting those seeds early on to encourage that kind Good of aspiration. You, planting <laughs> those seeds, that's what's important. So, okay, so enough of our questions, because we have some questions yes. now from our special guests here in the studio. First up is second grader Talea who wants to be a chef. Talia, what's your question? What is your dream when you were my age? Oh, when oh. I was, and first of all, how old are you, Talia? Seven. Seven. Okay, so I think right around that time I was battling between if I was going to be a lawyer or a psychologist. Ooh, I really ooh. thought that I wanted to listen to people's problems all day, and I really kind of do. Yeah, 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 right? I know. Put both of those <laughs> together. Out. Yes. yes. Love that. All right, our next question here is from Shyla Skye, uh, who is an aspiring nurse. So, Shyla Skye, what is your question for Lindsay this morning? How, how, how do you... How do you follow your dreams? How do you follow oh, your yeah. dreams? That is a good question. I think first you have to think about what would be your wildest dream, right? Like what would you desire to do? And I'm you're dressed up like a doctor or a nurse, so I'm thinking that might be kind of a, in your career path or, or your thoughts at least right now. Um, and so I would start by talking to people who do what I that who do what I think I want to do. So I would say, you know, what is what's the best part about your job? What's the hardest part about your job? You know, what do you what do you love about it? What drives you crazy? And then think about what kinds of like if you wanted to be a nurse, for example, what kind do you want to be a nurse practitioner where you can prescribe medicine for people to get better? Or do you want to be a pediatric nurse, right? Where you just work with with children. So I think that it's just about figuring out what it is you want to do and then talking to the people who do that. Love that. Well, Lindsay, as a parent, as a girl dad, as your friend, uh, congratulations once again. Thank you, guys. You know, my daughters six love your books. book, so we're excited for number six right here. Thank uh, you, guys. And speaking of girls of the world, all of our friends here in the studio, you're all going to get a copy of Lindsay's book, right? Yes. Yes, here we oh, go. There there it is. Surprise. <laughs> and they were they, thrilled. Your little, you your little gift for waking up very early on a Saturday. I'm like, you guys got me out of bed. Thank I want to just say, say I'm, I'm doing this part of a page turners program. I'm going to be speaking at their school on Wednesday. Oh, love so that. thank you to the Archdiocese for connecting us. Excellent. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.